They say, let's give to the church. Your face is screwed. You have money in your account. It's all about you, 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 you. You have the wisdom of the world. When they say, oh, perfect power. Next A, B, and C. Let's put money together. Even my birthday, some of you refuse to contribute. May God punish you. <laughs> because you are wicked. Unless you don't have. Well, I stand here, I preach. Some of you come to my office, you disturb me with prayers and everything. Give money for us to celebrate Pastor Cecilia. It's not like I'm coming to give the money. It's for the food that you are coming to eat yourself. Some of you gave nothing and you eat like a pig and can't take away. I will say it, if you are angry, change. Because if it was you and they come to me, I will give freely. Because you are a member and so I will look after you. But when it comes to your pastors, you don't want to know because you are selfish. You are only thinking about yourself. That is the wisdom of the world. Somebody that has the wisdom of God will be there for one another. When you don't have, I give you. When I know that you are struggling, I give you the little that I have because that shows that I'm a kingdom citizen. Because it's when I was hungry, did you feed me? So if you're sitting here and you cannot pay something towards your pastor's celebration or your pastor's whatever, why are you here? You're a devil. My pastors are bitter minus me because I'm not relying on nobody's money. Because 90% of it was paid by my husband. Can we clap for him? Because 90% of it was paid by my husband. Can we clap for You see what religion has come to and what religion has done to the African man's mind? Listen to a so called pastor's wife, a so called spiritual mother of the church. Cursing her congregation because nobody gave her money for her birthday. And then at the end she said, you ain't got to worry about it because 90% of her birthday party celebration, 90% of the money was provided by her past, uh, by her husband. Excuse me. And the God about, uh, members are clapping and cheering. But the same members forgot where the pastor got his money from. If the church is his full-time job, and 90% of the money he provided to, to do her birthday bash was provided by her husband, the pastor. Where did he get the money from to pay 90%? Number one. Number two, she's angry and she said God will curse them because nobody provided for her birthday. Nobody gave her money for her birthday. But the 90% of the money her husband used to celebrate her birthday came from who? Okay, I rest my case. Africa wake up why have you sat and allowed religion to dumb you down to dull you to make you so insensitive to the spirit of god to make you so easily brainwashed bamboozled and bushwhacked by merchants and hirelings that are masquerading as men and women of god if they say god sent them why don't they harass god to take care of them Instead of harassing you to take care of them, my final statement is, nowhere did I read in the Bible that I saw Jesus taking up an offering. If anything, Jesus provided for his disciples and the multitudes. He fed the multitudes. I've never saw Jesus tell Judas, who was the, the, the treasurer, to pass the offering basket or to pass the money bag around and collect money. Are we disciples of Christ? And if Jesus is supposed to be our measuring plumb line for life, for ministry, for righteousness, it's time that we do ministry and do life and even business like Jesus did. It's time all you shepherds and leaders take care of your flocks and stop harassing and milking your, cat, your flocks to take care of you. Jesus never collected offerings from his people. Why are you? This is Dagnet. Warriors Prayer Bootcamp, the conservative blogger, now the African blogger. Yes, I'm a woman of multiple hats. God also wears multiple hats. He's my friend, my father, my big brother, my savior, my confidant, my Rafa, my healer. He's all of that. And then some. So am I. I appreciate you. I salute you. Subscribe, share, and invite. Leave your comments your suggestions, your likes, your dislikes, 
your thumbs up. It is all welcome and appreciated. Thank you very much. They say, let's give to the church. Your face is screwed. You have money in your account. It's all about you, 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 you. You have the wisdom of the world. When they say, oh, perfect power. Next A, B, and C. Let's put money together. Even my birthday, some of you refuse to contribute. May God punish you. <laughs> because you are wicked. Unless you don't have. Well, I stand here, I preach. Some of you come to my office, you disturb me with prayers and everything. Give money for us to celebrate Pastor Cecilia. It's not like I'm coming to give the money. It's for the food that you are coming to eat yourself. Some of you gave nothing and you eat like a pig and can't take away. I will say it if you are angry, change. Because if it was you and they come to me, I will give freely. Because you are a member and so I will look after you. But when it comes to your pastors, you don't want to know because you are selfish. You are only thinking about yourself. That is the wisdom of the world. Somebody that has the wisdom of God will be there for one another. When you don't have, I give you. When I know that you are struggling, I give you the little that I have because that shows that I'm a kingdom citizen. Because it's when I was hungry, did you feed me? So if you're sitting here and you cannot pay something towards your pastor's celebration or your pastor's whatever, why are you here? You're a devil. My pastors are bitter minus me because I'm not relying on nobody's money. Because 90% of it was paid by my husband. Can we clap for him? Because 90% of it was paid by my husband. Can we clap for him? So I said to the girls, there are some people, please, when it comes to me, don't ask them anything for me personally. Do not ask them to contribute anything for me. Because if I know, I will take it and give it back to you. Because I know it's not coming from a good heart. And it's not about thousand pounds or hundred pounds. One little gift, like a voucher that Chantel gave me. I went and bought two blazers. You are a woman in this ministry. Your time comes to be celebrated. You will not be celebrated. Mercy, mercy. mercy. <laughs> because if you don't celebrate, nobody will celebrate you. Self-centered. Nobody but themselves. Everything you have is for yourself. Some of you didn't give, but me and my husband gave you money. Wow. I, yes, Minister Veron. They did not give. But when they were struggling in secret, we blessed them. And we are not bragging because this is the truth. Some church members think that pastors are just the eating members' money. But some of you that sit here can testify that we've been a blessing to your life. Not just by 